Hi watch buddies, this video is all about a homage watch, which I don't normally go for, but this is based clearly on the Rodex Datejust, which is a stunning watch, and they do this one very well. This is made by a company, which I'm pretty sure Chinese, called Burai, which, uh, as far as I know, are purely an Amazon type brand. And I have looked at this watch a few times and thought, yeah, it looks nice, but it's going to be just a load of tat, tinny cheap tat. But um, after looking at it further and seeing some reviews, I decided it might be worth a punt because the reviews were coming out really well. And it was only about £150. So I thought, why not give it a go? And I'm pretty impressed, to be honest with you. Here it is. Now, it's hard to tell from just a video, but if you held this in your hands, you'd be surprised at the quality. And hopefully this can come across. It is uh, pretty well made. It comes on this Jubilee bracelet, like the, like the Rolex. Solid links. It has a Seiko movement, so not, not too bad at all. Nicely decorated clasp. And the dial is stunning. That's my, I think the best colour, that light blue dial. Pretty dodgy logo, but never mind. The indices are nicely applied. You've got a good magnifier on the date there. And so far it's been very accurate. That lovely fluted bezel is there, highly polished case. The case back has a textured coin edge type bezel on the outer edge there of the exhibition glass. Would have been better to have a solid case back, nothing to show off with that Seiko movement. It's pretty boring to look at. So if you're going to make a homage, why not go all the way and just have that plain case back that the Rolex has? Anyway, that's uh, not a big deal. So butterfly deployment class engraved with the logo there. The crown is just a push pull. But a good smooth action. And this is hackable too. So the second hand stops, allowing you to set the time. See that in the chapter ring there has the Buraya. I think that's how you pronounce it, I presume it is. Burai etching of their logo inside there. But as with many of these mushroom brands that are all over Amazon, you hardly get any decent photographs of these products and uh, very few videos. So you, you can't really tell from those awful Photoshop enhanced images of the watches that you can't get an idea of what it really looks like in, in real life so hopefully this helps those that have been looking at that and eyeing it up I would say if you've got to spare 150 pounds to spend on a watch go for it it's definitely worth it The case size is just over 40 mil. Thickness is 11 and a half mil. Lug width is 20 mil. Lug to lug 50 mil. So I'll show you what that looks like on my wrist. There it is. That 
does have a good presence on the wrist, catches the light really well and I think it does look quite a bit more expensive than the price you paid. As you'd expect the loom isn't great so I won't bother showing that, it's not really worth it. So I'll uh, just wrap up there and um, show you some more close up shots of this decent homage watch. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.